Wouldn't that be awesome if they actually made it so that glitch trap was a boss battle you had to fight? Oh, get out of here. Get out. Oh, jeez. No! No, I come up! No! Welcome to GT Not Live, where in the preparation for all the hype around Five Nights at Freddy's, we have found a, a really cool fan game uh, that was made inspired by Security Breach. So uh, for those of you who might not remember, Princess Quest, that is the game that's like the 8-bit mini games throughout Security Breach where you're trying to piece together, um, you know, this, this golden princess fighting against like the glitch trap bunnies that are roaming around, which has all sorts of weird lore implications and now that if we're talking about like AI and if glitch trap is a mimic AI or something like that, there's a lot of unanswered questions about that because everything up to that point is just like this Afton thing is a virus, so who knows. Um, but that is lore talk for another video at another time in probably even another channel over on Game Theory. But uh, what that those games were just really cool, right? So um, they started as a, to, to catch you up on the history, right? It started as a mini game on the mobile or kind of like two dimensional port of FNAF VR. Cause in FNAF VR, you couldn't do, in FNAF VR, you could do a lot of different things, but in the flat port of it, there were some things that you just couldn't do, right? You couldn't make some of the like end game glitches or come out of the secret glitches happen. So they had to figure out a way of like, well, what is our version of some of these like secrets in here? And so what they did was they created Princess Quest, right? Which was the 2D version of this. And in the mobile game, I remember I had a really hard time. You had to like keep tapping this one glitch area and hopefully it would sometimes like randomly appear. It wasn't consistent, but that's where Princess Quest first started was in the mobile version of FNAF VR, which in and of itself was crazy. Um, and then it really got blown out in Security Breach, where all of a sudden it was three Princess Quests, and if you happen to beat them all, that's when you free Vanny from the control of Glitch Trap, right? Or like she is no longer under his, his power. She's no longer the reluctant follower. It looks like though, that uh, Emil Joe's Games earlier this year has done a three-dimensional version of all of these. So basically, hey, let's take what are pixel art 2D games, flat games, and transition them into a 3D space. So I don't know what this looks like, but I can tell you, based on the title screen, it looks great. Like, this is gorgeous. The graphics are pretty darn beautiful. Reflections are nice. Um, I'm intrigued. And as we get ready to hop into the Pizzaplex one more time with Ruin coming up soon, much sooner than all of us expected. I think it's time to kind of refresh ourselves and revisit some of these things from Security Breach as we kind of go back through like a lore deep dive again and, and remind ourselves like where were we at this? What was this all of this? And it's been a while since I've uh, played Princess Quest. So let's do this. So Princess Quest 3D, let's begin. Oh, and it seems like you do all three. Cool. Oh, this is awesome. I wonder if they're all available. Pretty impressive. And they are short games, which is nice. Um, so presumably we should be able to do all of them right here. Oh, nice. You're glitching into the game. This is already, wow. This is really nice. The lighting is great. This is beautiful. Stylistically, this is gorgeous. I kind of love it. Books. I need the lantern. Do I, oh, do I, do I need like, oh, I do. Okay. This is awesome. This uh, like already, I'm very impressed by this. Okay, here we go. So now it begs the question of, do you take the hearts? So when I booted up the game, it said that there are two endings to this, uh, that there are two endings to the whole game. So he was like, hopefully you can find both of them. And I suspected back when I first started playing Princess Quest, I'm like, hey, should we be taking the hearts in the chests? Or is that like indicative of us falling further and further under Glitch Trap's control? Cause that, oh. Well, oh, she did, she did. I did, uh, I was not sure. 
Because in the original game, there's there's a boundary around that. You can't fall into the hole. So I'm like, oh, let me check this out. This door's shut. It is the whole time. Can I say something weird? Yeah, please. On that death screen, yeah. um, her ring finger kind of looks like a Twinkie. That's, that's not altogether inaccurate. I think well, you might just be hungry, though. I, yeah, a little bit. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, they are spookies. Oh, wow. <laughs> these are, I love these models. The art style. So it, it's cool because this feels very similar to the art style of the Princess Quest mini games. Oh, oh, hello, hello, hello. Stop, 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 stop. How, oh, how do I get out? Get, let go. No, stop. Oh. Oh. Okay, but like, take a closer look at the ring yeah, finger. Yeah, I, I really wanted to do this intentionally so we could look at the Twinkie fingers. Yeah. Right. Those are cream filled. Those are cream filled right there. They are. Take a bite out of that. There's not bone. There's what? there's cream filling. When was the last time you had a Twinkie? You know, I loved Hostess snacks and cupcakes and things. Yeah. But Twinkies did not did not like. Really? Yeah, I was more of a Ho Ho guy or a Suzy Q guy. Um. Even those cupcakes, although the, the the cupcakes with the swirls on top, although I gotta say that the swirls more often than not, or sorry, not that the cupcakes more often than not were very dry. Ah, uh, yeah. Which was not. Oh, hello. Oh, stop! Stop! Okay, so they have a pretty decent like attack range. So I just gotta. Oh my gosh! Okay, get out of there. Okay, I mean this. Oh my gosh! This is brutal. And in uh, the first one, you do not get a sword to fight back, so that sucks. I gotta, I gotta do, I gotta do better. Okay, small key. This is where they charge me, isn't it? If I remember right. Yeah, this is where they started. Okay, hello. Oh, yeah, this is where. Oh, this is creepy. Okay, hello. I don't want to fall off the edge. So yeah, they're all chasing me. Not great. For these guys, and they're like massive attack radius. Okay. Are all, is that army of people still following me? Okay, here we go. Oh, okay! Oh no! I've been glitched to death. Well then, we're gonna be able to see her uh, Twinkie fingers a lot. Yeah. I'm excited. One is, I think, gonna be the hardest because in the future we'll actually get weaponry to defend ourselves. This is more, I just have to navigate my way through this. Gladly take the heart. Um, yeah, so I would make friends at school uh -huh. by giving away my Twinkies and Ho-Hos and cupcakes and things oh, like that. Oh, you were that guy. I was that guy. My, my parents packed me a lot of sweets and, I mean, a lot, a lot of sweets to the extent that it was like, hey, I, pro I probably shouldn't be eating all of these sweets. I got like a whole like sleeve of Oreo, not a whole sleeve, but I would get like four or double stuffed Oreos and a ho ho. Oh my god! Plus, plus other stuff, you know, that was actually healthier. But usually it was like turkey sandwich, plus apple. Usually like an apple, because that was like my go-to uh, fruit. And then everything else was yeah, just lots of sweets. Oh my god! Everywhere. I so I also did like the turkey and cheese sandwich. Uh huh. On a wheat thin. Ooh, a wheat thin. On wheat thin. Ooh, interesting choice of bread there. And then, um, oh yeah, not like the thin, thin wheats. Is that the bread kind? Because wheat thins are a, a cracker. Oh jeez. Oh, oh jeez. Okay, okay. They're all just chasing me around. What is it called? Oh, Hold up. Sandwich thins. Yes. Oh, those. Sand yeah. Sandwich thin is different than a. Oh jeez. Wheat thin, thin is a cracker. Okay, this is this is tough. <laughs> this is. <laughs> they are very aggressive, and they will latch onto you from a very short distance. I gotta figure out how to not lose all my life in that first room. Okay, we're gonna do this. I swear, this is not that hard of a game. We're doing it for the lore. Lore. Doing it for the lore. Yeah, those sandwich thins. Sandwich I really thins love sandwich thins. With the 100 calorie, uh, like snack packs. Sure. Were you a Lunchables person? Oh, I, I did love my Lunchables. Did you? Yeah. We had the pizza ones a lot. Oh sure, like uh, the pizza ones were the ones that like every, every like if if you had the pizza ones at the at, at lunch, you were like oh jeez you were a ah. king, you were a king. Everyone envied you. Yeah. You and your Capri Sun, and your pizza. 
with the with the kind of slightly soggy pizza crust. But it somehow cold. hits so different. It does hit real different, doesn't it? Yeah. I the cracker ones weren't bad in the moment, but I look back at the cracker ones now and it's like ugh. The ones with the like slimy like cold cut? Yeah. And the cold like slice of cheese. You look back ugh. Yeah, those those weren't as pleasant. The, uh, that was that was actually always my problem with them was the fact that they were always kind of like the meat was always felt wet. A little, like a little bit too yeah too wet and slimy it was always yeah. like okay okay they're coming at, okay they're really coming at me so oh jeez oh my god so this is princess quest it sure is wow brutal okay you're I think. questing as a little princess okay I, there's a big loop that we can get through here I think down here. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let... Okay, there's one over there. No! Oh my god. What am I? <laughs> I'm trying. First person. It's tough. Especially when everything's chasing right behind you the whole time. I don't know if this one was meant to be translated into first person. Whew, okay. We're gonna do this. Right? Totally. Got it. Cut to three hours later where Matt is still doing this. Okay, stealth. I can't tell if like stealth or running quickly is the better option in this room. Good. Good, yeah, look at that. No, oh, get out of here. Screw you, little glitchy bunny. Ooh, I wonder if we're gonna have a little rage pat moment. No, no rage pads of FNAF game. There's no rage with FNAF. Oh yeah, I forgot this is very soothing for you. Yeah, this is this is my this is my happy spot. Clearly. It's his comfort game. This is clearly my comfort game. Anything related to FNAF is absolutely a comfort game for me. There we go, so there's the army. The army of the rabbits. Okay, here we go. Stay away. Stay away. Give him a wide berth. Okay, oh, you were not there. I call foul. Okay, so you are following me now. Okay, here we go. There's like not a moment to rest either because they are like right on your tail literally the entire time. Ha! Look at him go. That's very silly. Here's this. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try to lead them around again, like a little parade. Okay, here they go. Still following me. Okay, there's one right there. Straggler. Straggler. He's thinking differently. Thinking outside the box. He's like, hey, I got this. So there's that one in the dead end, right? So I feel like I should go grab it. Ooh, 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 okay, ooh. okay, okay, that's okay. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. We all good. This way. So they're still following me. Watch out for that guy. Okay, go down. Come on down the pipeline! Woo! We got this. We got this. They better not still be following me because that would be a bummer. Bummer and a half if they're still following me. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, oh, hello. Purple key. Okay. So that's open. There's the glitch trap door. Hello, glitch trap door. This isn't suspicious at all. This isn't going to result in my untimely death. Of course not. Oof, this is a big oof. oof right here. I only have one life to do. There's no way. Oh no! Oh no. We're not, we're not gonna beat this game, Ash. Oh no. There's no world. We literally were like, well, this will probably go pretty quickly. Right? A this nice is a, one parter. Yeah, this is a nice short one. Oh. I mean, it's good. Yeah. No, it's very good. But also, okay. This is, it's good, but shockingly difficult. Like, they, the, the enemies here are very aggressive relative to how they were in the original. Which is fine. I'm just starting to figure out, like, a, a more winning strategy. I think your, um... 
your strategy of like wrangling up the little guys oh, so they're all behind See, you that's the thing the wrangling up behind me yeah, yeah that's the way to do it that last room though is going to be tough for that also like l remembering the layouts of some of these rooms it's pretty brutal all right here we go let's lure them this way I love the fact that after this one, I feel like all the rest of them will be significantly better. Yeah. Once you have a sword. You know, once you have a means of defense. Oh, come on. Man. No. Just like FNAF, all the biggest enemy of FNAF isn't Glitch Trap or Robot Children. It's RNG. Okay, as soon as I enter here, everyone's chasing me. Okay. Nice. Bob and Weave. I'll take it. Good, good weave in action. Got him. And two. What are they doing? They're all following huh. me. Okay, still doing good. I wish they would fall in the holes. That would be incredible, actually, if they could do that. That would be so helpful. They split up. They did. So I gotta kind of let them stick around me cl long enough so that way they all follow the same trajectory. So I just need the first one, don't I? Yes. Okay, there it is. Sure. At least now we have like a pattern that we can figure out, but it's very like trial and error based, it feels like, to get through it. Okay, here it is. Who oh boy. Secret lore. I mean, we could go there. <laughs> or, or let's, let's, you know, maybe, maybe. Maybe we just jump across. We can't. I know we can't. I know we can't. But oh it's God. so tempting. It is so tempting. Oh, you gotta light the torches in this one too. Come on, kiddos. Everyone get behind. Right, come on, guys. I don't remember the layout of this room. I just remember that it's very complicated. And I can't jump, and I can't jump! That a, okay, okay. Whew. Nope. Okay, okay. Great, I'll take a heart. What is this feeling? It's the feeling of maybe I have a shot at getting through. Oh, it's so dark. Oh, God, I almost fell off. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Get out of here. Please open door. Oh, okay. Woo! <laughs> Look at you go! Oh, buddy. Okay, now, now we're now we're making progress, friends. Ooh. Now things are getting done. Don't fall in the water. I'm assuming it's an insta death. All right, let's light some torches. Yeah. Let's also pick up a heart, cause I could use it. I feel strange. All the hearts. Hey, bud. All right. So this is four. So it's six, right? Two. I forget what the order of these is. That's four. One. Is this one? One. That one's just burning. Great. This one's just broken. Oh, I forget how the order of these go. There. That's one, two. That one, this one's four, this is five. Ba 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 da ba! Beautiful. Then what's over here? I thought this was a secret bonus gravestone. Anything over here? Nope, just a pile of turd. Little, <laughs> little gray turd. That's fine. No worries. Clay rock. Clay rock. Ba da ba ba ba, I'm rocking it. Ooh. I think that's a far more confident McDonald's jingle. Then I'm variation. loving it. Yeah. No, I'm rocking it. Hello. Whoa. I, I like that the layout of the world not not quite works that way, but sure, we're gonna say yes. Uh, okay, let's not fall into the pit in our final moment here. A strange key. I wonder what it opens. 
Ironically enough, it opens the green door. Strange how that works. Whoa. Blowing everyone's mind. Oh, no. Oh. It's like, no, you cannot. Hey. What? What? Just hanging out. Watching us from afar. I feel like I'm not supposed to be looking at that. No, I think that this is not allowed. It's like they're in a can-can line. Yeah. Burr, 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 so here's the question. Yep. Do I dare go all the way back to the beginning to see if that door opened? No, definitely not. Oh, okay. Yeah, you want to? I mean, we could, but I also don't want you to risk dealing with that mess. Right. Okay, let's do it. We'll see if the door opened. Because they said there's two endings. I'm assuming. Ooh. Um, okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Can we do it? Watch out for this first pit. That's the, my arch nemesis in this game. That first pit is the thing that ultimately results in our death over and over again. Here we go. Hello. Ooh, a sword. Wait, we got a sword. The door is shut, but now there's a sword. I'm telling, can I, I feel like the sword is important. I, yep. Oh, I can't pick up the sword, can I? It's a fun Easter egg. I'm glad that there's something here. Yeah. That's cool. Like, that's legitimately very cool. I am bummed that I can't pick it up and slash away, though. Gotta admit, would have been nice. Can you not put down the lantern? Oh, hello. Can I put down the lantern? I cannot. Dang. I know. That's a blow. That is a right? blow. Right? It's even it's glowing there. It's like, oh, very clearly, this is a thing that we need. Yeah, very enticing. It is. Huh. Also, the wardrobe. He growl. Be oh my god! Oh! Oh wow! Oh! Wow. Oh no! Wow! <laughs> Talk about the best jump scare that this franchise has given me in a long time. That was it right there. I did not see that one coming by a mile. Wow! <laughs> Just out of nowhere. One of them escaped the confines of their room. Oh, he's he's the tryhard. He's he's the one who's aspiring for greatness. He's got he's got big goals in his life. Oh man, here we go. Let's check this out. Let's get corrupted by glitch trap, shall we? I'm pretty excited to see how he's envisioned in this. Hello. Walk, 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 walk. Here we go. Dramatic. Super dramatic. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, hey. What's up? Uh oh. Spooky glitch man. I always come back. Always. Awesome. Woo. Super dramatic. We made it through one. Yeah. Woo. All right. So that means we can do number two. Awesome. Let's do it. Maybe this time we could get the sword. I forget, does does two get the sword or three? Yes, there it is. You are alive, that is good. Take the sword. Great, thank you. So, ha, <laughs> boom. Yeah, I'll make, you I'll make you regret giving me the sword. All right, here we go, Princess Quest. I feel like this time we've got an unlock, Ash. Yeah. Whereas before, you know, we were only armed with a mere, with a mere lantern. Boom! Whoa! Look at him. Oh, this. Oh, this is so satisfying. After how hard the last one was. Yes. That's great. This is. This is. This is my Skyrim right here. This is your Skyrim. Huh? This is my Skyrim right here. Oh, I like seeing the little like, the little wires and tentacles like in his, in his mouth. Oh yeah. It's cool. There you go. Got him. This is it. This is this. This does. It feels very. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, you can you can let me go now. Okay, hey, hey, stop. Hey, stop. Okay, get out of here. All right. This. There. Nice. Got him back. Checking it out. Exploring around. Hello, mysterious glowing lights. That has no cause or reason to be here. Hmm. Ooh, feel, ooh secret chest. 
Oh, how nice. Very nice. I love, I love her delightful little like, oh, how nice. Right? It is, so it is one of those things, and, and this never ended up being touched on, mm -hmm. and I'm still not sure what it's meant to tell us in the lore, but again, like, like I said, the, the idea of her accepting the hearts, because when she accepts more hearts, she starts to say, you feel strange, or it, it feels strange. This is uncomfortable, yeah. And, and it's like, what is that trying to tell us? Like, is that you just, you're feeling more nervous about being further and further into this, this game? And like you descending further and further down into to madness? Or what what is that meant to tell us? I'm not sure. Okay, here we go. Got get got the battle room. Battle Royale! Can you hurt these guys? Oh you bet, you bet I Whoa. can. Whoa! Oh yeah, the red I'm telling you, retribution. Retribution is sweet! This feels like rewarding oh it's so rewarding Getting like to hurt them right you got through you got through that really difficult chapter one and so now you get to fight these guys Wait, oh come on. okay 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 there we go hey nah. I also love the texture on them now that we're seeing them up close and not just running frantically away from them see what is this feeling what is this feeling what is this feeling what is this feeling feel? love Huh. It's love. What is this feeling? It's or magical. the souls and livelihoods of children that were murdered. Right? It, it's like, am I succumbing to the glitch trap virus? Is that what I'm supposed to be believing here? It's unclear. And I love, I love Princess Quest. I think it like it's a cool game. I I've missed for a while the like 8-bit style mini games and stuff like that. Um, come on. I think that, you know, those were some of my favorite parts of the original, the original two games, right? Were, well, especially the, the original game and then uh, three, was the idea of, hey, here's a, here's a secret, oh, these guys launched all the eyeballs at you. Here's a thing that, okay, as long as I keep moving, I should be okay, right? Okay, great, I, if I can hit him. Ha! Huh. Great. Okay. Good. Okay. Oh, you got me. You got me, kid. But that's one of I, that's one of my favorite things about the early lore of the games is the like discovering stuff through the eight bit mini games, the Atari style mini games. Because I always thought that that was so such a cool storytelling device is hiding lore in a kind of like old mysterious game because those already have an inherent level of discomfort and like awkwardness to them that makes them a little bit creepy and a little bit weird yeah and so you know where you're having to interpret mysteries and secrets and things like that oh, man come on dude and so the idea of hiding lore there is great and it's been nice like princess quest is almost too polished you know mm -hmm. where like you have okay. a little bit too much control and the graphics are a little bit too good like i miss how janky the original ones were and i think at this point there's like lore reasons for it existing that way and, and this and that but um, but still, I, I do kind of long for the the earlier days of the 8-bit minigame. And this is a good callback to, to that to some extent. Okay, hey bud. You're gonna launch. You're gonna launch. And I will say, having a little bit more three-dimensional space to avoid these things is really nice, because in the, again, in the 8-bit game, the 8-bit version of it, it, it got it got tight in a hurry, so it's nice to have a little extra space to maneuver around these guys. Yeah, which makes it a lot more comfortable. Whereas before, like they fired at such a rapid pace that it got crowded in a hurry. So here we go. I feel see she's feeling strange. Is that just her? Like is that related to the fact that she's getting more hearts, or is that related to the fact that she's just you know? in here longer and she's starting to realize things like what what is making her feel strange is is it the heart itself or is it just this is my moment to talk to you the camera yeah it is weird isn't it it is because it's also like i find it interesting that if something hurts you and then you kill it you get a heart back right that's, that's a good like, point actually huh. like they don't just drop randomly i don't know
right? That is a good point, actually, that the thing that they drop is always a heart. But you know? only if it hurts you. Yeah, only if it hurts you. So it's, oh, hey, oh, good one. Good, good one, jump scare, man. You've got me. You've got me with your jump scares. Right, so are you feeding off of this thing then? You know, it's giving, it's giving you life. It's giving it's sucking life. You, it's sucking you life, but it's also giving, it's sucking away your life, but it's also giving you life to some extent. I don't know. It is mysterious. It's one of those, again, it's one of those mysteries that in the lore, it's like, I don't exactly know what's trying to be communicated through it. Yeah. And I'd love your interpretations over in the comments below. Like, what do you think? is the message of them feeling strange. Theorize challenge, go. You have go. 60 seconds. They have a little bit more than 60 seconds. No, they have to type a theory right now and In then they could go seconds. back and edit it. Speed theories, activate. Go with the speed quest. Go, go, you're running out of time. More theories faster. Ah. Feed the content machine. Use the touch type method. <laughs> Use the touch type method. Is there something peeking out of there? It looked like there were eyeballs peeking out of that chest. I'm like, oh, maybe that'll indicate what's going on secretly, but no, not so much. Okay, so we've gotten through those. Go on back here. The, I will say the recreation of this game, really stellar, really solid. It's it's super bonk. cool. Sorry, bonk. Is there any? No, that's just a thing hanging from the ceiling. Hello. Okay, got this one. Light. Lights. Light. Oh. Oh. Oh, I see what they did there. Lights. We have merged into one. See, we're the separation of light and darkness. It's the yellow and the purple. It is the, you know, it, it's, well, it's yellow and purple, not green and purple. Yeah. Like I was initially saying, but yeah, you do have yellow and purple here, right? Let's take our time with this one. Cause... But in our original, uh, in our trailer reaction, we yeah. did actually, there was yellow and purple, and then it was green and purple for right. Charlie. Well, and yellow and purple makes a lot, of, I mean, yellow and purple is the classic, you know, it's the classic golden. Golden versus, are you gonna attack me? You are, okay. Okay, there, and one more. Oh, get out of here, you suck. I hate you so much. I'm so disappointed in you. I'm so disappointed in you. Okay, okay, okay. Shame. No, no. Oh, oh, that's brutal. Oh, that's brutal. Damn it. Oh, I hate that for you. Oh, I hate that oh, for Oh, Twinkies. Me. I hate that for us. I knew it, I knew it. I knew oh. I got too aggressive. Okay. Shoot, cut. Well, we'll, we'll uh, I'm gonna catch up to where we were. You know, one of the things that we are, you know, talking about in kind of the, the recent theories, right, with, okay, hey bud. With, with um, the trailer and everything. Yep. Is the idea of, hey, can multiple things live inside someone at once? Mm -hmm. You know, is, is there goodness and badness inside of Gregory? Cause that's one of the th that's one of the popular thoughts I've been having since watching that trailer, right? Is the idea of like, are we trying to save Gregory's soul in this? You know, is there a world where he actually, you know, isn't just a, a thrall to Afton or like a, a product of Afton's creation, but is there a actual, you know, does he exist beyond that, right? And here, a lot of this duality imagery of like the princess is golden. And, you know, Golden Freddy is good or whatever, but then there's also this, like, purple darkness, this purple evil attached inside there as well, sharing the Ooh. same body. So maybe, you know, if maybe that didn't come out, gosh, maybe that didn't quite fully come out in Security Breach the way it was intended, but maybe that's kind of the, the, new, the new theme of it. Yeah, you know, I mean, isn't Princess Quest uh, the Vanessa game? Yeah, Princess Quest is the Vanessa game, right? And I mean, and, and Vanessa, again, and Vanessa's storyline in Security Breach, in a very vague roundabout way, if you really squint at it, okay. is, you know, can, can she be saved, right? Or is she just gonna be a product of Afton forever? Right. You know, like, how, how redeemable is she? And so you do the Princess Quest minigames and you're like, I saved her, she's no longer the reluctant follower, she's free now. So 
I could see that potentially being the case here, where, am I missing any torches? I can see that being the case, oh, there it is. I can see that being the case here, where like this was maybe one of the original themes that he wanted to, you know, that they wanted to make security breach about or kind of focus on. But because of all the changes and things, it kind of got lost in the shuffle or got muddied. Yeah. And so now it's like, hey, we can try to do that same sort of thing again, but this time with, with uh, Gregory. You know, we can make it kind of clearer and, and more precise with Gregory, since everyone thinks, you know, he is some sort of corrupted individual that it's he's true. working on Afton's side. Hmm. Just thought, just a hypothesis. Yeah. A game hypothesis. All right. I guess you could say, is Gregory really ruined? Whoa. Whoa. You could. That's a question you can ask. And oh, there you go. Huh. And this be. I got you. I got you. Uh, okay. I forget how this puzzle's supposed to look and to go. Oh, they're supposed to be on the outside. That's right. So there. And then if I do this, which way do they look? And then one more, and they should be there. there Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Got him. Which means this is open, and we're back here to the beginning. The first, congratulations, your quest is done. Time to sleep. Ooh. Oh, time to sleep. Is it, though? Is it? Or do I go into Princess Quest? Three! Cupcake is there. I'm so tiny. Uh -oh. I'm so tiny relative to it. You're just a little oh, just a teeny, princess. Just a teeny, teeny. All right, that's Princess Quest 1 and 2, which means we got one more. Can we do it? Hey! Hi, I'm in a new outfit. We have a new camera angle because I had to take a break after Princess Quest 2. This game is taking me much longer than I expected. I'm like, oh yeah, Princess Quest, those were short games. We'll squeeze this in a no time. No, no, certainly not. <laughs> The struggle is decidedly real. So anyway, we have defeated Princess Quest 1, we have defeated Princess Quest 2, it is time for Princess Quest 3, which is the longest of them, but also I think probably the most manageable. So let's unearth the secrets of this one. I'm really curious about this one because this is the one that has all the treadmill puzzles. This one has like Chica peeking in through the ripped up uh, door or the ripped up like wall and stuff. So if any of them, this Princess Quest promises to be definitely the most exciting the most lore filled and the one that's like, I think it's gonna be the most intriguing to transition to, to three dimensions. So here we go. Oh, spooky. Don't fall in the hole because you will die. Boom, smack down, smack down. Get out of here. See, that disturbs me. The fact that the ceiling of the pizzeria is the same as the floor of the pizzeria, Ooh. that it's all checkerboard. That's concerning to me. I don't know. I, I, I feel very strongly that that is a, that is a scary thing. Okay. So I know that Princess Quest, you know, Princess Quest is a game within a game. Yes. But in terms of like the actual FNAF pizzerias, uh huh. Do we know canonically who does like the floor plan and the interior design for that? Who is the interior designer of the FNAF pizzerias? Yeah, like who's doing the architecture, like. Who's, plan who's mapping it out? You know, these are great questions. Uh, you know, it, it really, that has not been firmly established in the lore. I would be interested to know that because they've made some very interesting decisions. I, I could see William Afton having a strong hand in that decision-making process though. Yeah. I would be surprised if he didn't want at least a little bit of a say in kind of those decisions. No, Strikes totally. me as the type. Henry cares a lot about this franchise. I could see him wanting some of that as well. Got ominous glowing chest, as you do. <laughs> I love the lighting of this, this is great. This is really neat. This is really cool. Love it. Also, purple and green! Puppet versus Afton. Maybe. Or Elizabeth versus Afton, a battle of the Aftons. That would be a wild matchup given the history. Right? What do we got here? Oh, watch out for the gap in the floor. 
Got ourselves the need for a purple key and a bunch of evil bunnies on the other side over there. So if I recall correctly, you got to make it out over here. Check it over there. I'm just curious what else is going on. This looks great. By the way, I would love just in a, like I know that this is riffing on Princess Quest, obviously, and it's just a, a one for one recreation of a lot of this. I would love there to actually be a game on its own, all this style. I think that this look is cool. I think it would work really, really well. Oh, what the heck? Where are, where did you come? Where did you come? Get out of, oh, get out of here. Okay, I'm dead. Where did that bunny come from? Show me that bunny. Show me that bunny. Show me the bunny. Show me the bunny. Show me the bunny. Well, that was unfortunate. I I did not expect to die. <laughs> did not expect to die in this one. It's fine. It's fine. The problem is once you get attached by one of these guys, it's it's, it's off to the races, man. You're you're done. You're done, Zo. If they get you. Just say your prayers. Say good night, Gracie. Show, they showed me the bunny. Okay, okay, hey. Okay, there we go. You ever watch Jerry Maguire? Uh, no. That's the, that's where the show me the money is from. Show me the money! Except it, you know, obviously we did show me the money. It is, I tried to watch it. Man, the style of movies from like the 90s. And, the, and like what is and isn't acceptable for like heroes to do and say and act. It's so vastly different. It's crazy. It is crazy. Is Jerry perhaps an ancestor or a relative of Lizzie? It, certainly, yes. Yeah. Lizzie okay. McGoy, yes. There is definitely a familial connection there to be had. Perfect. And if, and if there isn't, we'll come up with a theory about exactly that at some point. Thank you. I feel seen. Yeah, just for you. Awesome. Justice, hashtag justice for Lily. Lizzie. <laughs> Liz and Lily. Lily is the forgotten sister of the whole thing. Lily McGuire. Lily McGuire. The oft forgotten Lily McGuire. Wait, so I gotta cross over here. No, no. Run. 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 Run on it. Okay. Work those legs, Shins. my princess. Calves. Work them. Better, faster, stronger. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> That's terrifying. <laughs> Just peek. I was excited to see it realized in three dimensions. Now it's just disturbing and creepy. <laughs> peek, hey Chica. What is, what is the context for this? You know, Ash. Is she buried? Like, is it like a... So in the original game, right, she's peeking through the walls. The walls are all, like, broken down and derelict and falling apart. Yeah. And so Chica's peeking through the walls at that point and watching what's going on. What is Chica, what is Chica watching, though? Unclear. And how's that applied to this situation? Also unclear. Chica Pika. Yeah, Chica, Chica be Pika in. Chica Chica! Pika Pika! <laughs> Pika Chic! But yeah, I'm not... I'm not 100% sure. I worry a little bit about what Chica's peeking at. Uh-huh. Presumably, you know, because this is Princess Quest and and likely about, you know, Cassidy and Vengeful Spirits and all them, you know, there's a high likelihood that Chica was the first and saw everything, including what happened to Cassidy. Mm. I think. I think that might be what it's getting at. But, um, oh, Jesus. Oh, wow, this is going so fast. Oh, this is... No! Oh. Do you think the dead kids bully each other? Oh, certainly. No, oh, they most certainly do. Like, Chica's saying that she's the first, and it's like, first is the worst. Uh, well, I'm sure they say first is the worst, but also I'm sure Chica's so obnoxious about Susie. Probably just lording it over everyone's head. Like, yeah. hey, I was the first. I've seen everything. You guys don't know what's going on, like, you know? Shut up, Susie. It's like, Susie, geez. We know you understand the lore. Get the rest already. Right? Bullying amongst the dead kids. Untalked about, but definitely a, a cause for concern in this franchise. Right. Let's be honest here. Like, these kids are going through a lot. Right. But they've also been dead for some time. They have. So, you Which, know... 
But when you're stuck with someone for an extended period of time, like, you know how you can get on each other's nerves very quickly. Yeah, and once the initial, like, oh, I'm dead and trapped in this animatronic suit. Right, and now we're just in this endless purgatory together. Yeah, you, you get, you kind of get into the sense of, like, okay, you're being really annoying. Right? It's like, yeah. okay, geez, all right, like, I hear I you. I get it, I get it, you were the first, blah, blah. Right, you've seen everything, man, alive. See how much it helped all of us, Chica. See what you're doing for us. Watch with on your the creeper other eyes on. through mm. the floor. No one needs that. That is a perspective that no one wants. You get out of here, Chica. Get out of here. Get up on out of here, Chica. You too, you weird old bunny things. Maybe they bully each other about the appearance of their animatronic suits. Like you got the worst one. Oh, Idiot. That, oh, that would be brutal. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah, you got... You got Freddy. Pff, so mainstream. <laughs> basic. Yeah, what a basic... <laughs> basic bots. Basic What a bot. basic bot you are. <laughs> I got Foxy before it was cool. All right, let me a little bunny thing. I'm ready for you. Okay, good. Got him. Next up, fast... Oh my gosh, the transitions on here are so aggressive. Okay, here. Oh my god. Yeah, th as you can see, the textures and the, the patterning aren't, aren't quite as, as, you know, precise as you might be hopeful for. Okay, there's where the pathway is. Okay, so I gotta do that. Okay, I'm just gonna let it ride. I'm not touching anything, because I don't want to, like, correct it as it's shifting my body around. Okay, got it. There's this one. Next up. So now this should reverse all of them. Come on, baby, let my fire. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now we ride the conveyor belt back. Whee! Don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. Just stay safe. Just stay safe. Oh my gosh, it's launching me so close to the edge every single time. I secretly it's hate it. Anxiety inducing. It, right, it is anxiety inducing. Let's go! I, I survived at least round one of the awful evil conveyor belts. Now we move on to. Round two. Oh my god. I know, right? This is so stressful. Who did this? I know. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. We gotta like solve the like dual. There's like a dual puzzle here. Okay, girl. Are you at the, are you are you at the are you at it? You you should be at the thing. Are you at the thing? You are. You look like you should be at the torch. Are you at the torch? <laughs> okay, you are not at the torch. Clearly. Are you at your other torch? Is there another to secondary torch? Sec secondary torch. There we go. Uh, Got it. Nice. Now I'm <laughs> definitely trapped behind that wall. It's great. Oh, see, this is this is the right layer of conveyor belt right here. Dead stop. I will take that in a heartbeat. See, they all should do that. I love that. That's a win. Another aggressive one. Switch. Every time. Every time. It makes me so uncomfortable. Something is not right. Okay. That Bonnie looked wrong. I like him, though. Well, you're, you're right. He did look wrong because something is not right, Ash. You're, you're judging the situation correctly. Yeah! Something is not right, and that something that's not right is the body! Insight. You rolled a nat 20 <laughs> for insight, Ash. <laughs> How low are my stats if my nat 20 insight is something is wrong? You know, it's FNAF. Yeah, it's, 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 that's uh, the most we can get. I was going to say, it's a, it's a tricky franchise. It is, it is. It's tricky that way, you know? It obscures itself. Pro theorist strats. Nat 20 theorist strats. Okay, here we go. Hold up. Here to here. I love that in the original Princess Quest, this whole section, I feel like was breezed through in a minute. Because <laughs> it was so kind of like brokenly designed and, you know, you were able to kind of like cheese your way through it in a lot of ways. I'd like, oh. You know, the, the conveyor belt was, was fast, but not fast enough. And so you were able to kind of like run on it and this, that. Now, 
this one, they are, they're making it hard on you. They're like, no, we're going to make you work for it. Okay. So I got my evil bunny. So now we have to survive the hay maze, if I remember correctly. Right? We go to Grim Foxy Land. Which again, oof. Which again was a broken moment. Oh, I hate this sound. Oh, I hate this sound. Yeah, Grim Foxy Land in, in Princess Quest wasn't the, the most soundly created thing because you could see top down and having an animatronic chasing you through a maze and you seeing top down is, you know, defeats a lot of the purpose. What, what, what's going on here? What the heck? What, I am hitting all, basically every invisible wall that exists, I am hitting. All, all the invisible Every walls. collider is being collided against. I am against. testing every boundary of this right now. Oh, here's <laughs> oh. edge of the world. I'm assuming oh. this is the Gosh. hay maze with just like the loudest clomping. I. <laughs> okay, this is. I am definitely most assuredly lost at this point. Oh, hello. Oh. Okay, let's go back to the pizzeria, huh? Just gonna. Okay, that's the pizzeria. I'm, I'm going back in here. I, I'm going back to my safe spot. Thank you. I'm, I'm going to stay in my safe spot for I'm now. I'm fine, actually, but thanks, guys. Yeah, this, is, this has been fun. Thank you, thank you for this, everyone. Thank you for all of this, everything that you've given me. It's been, it's been a delight. So I, I kind of have to get through this thing, huh? What? Ooh, hello, Foxy Curtain. Thank you for being open. <laughs> thank you for being open and honest with me. Right, thank you for your honesty. Okay, let's try this again. Oh! Oh. Did, how did we miss this before? How was this so difficult last time? Hmm. Okay. Oh, there's there's uh -oh. there's Grim Foxy. I saw I saw his glow. Hear him. Hashtag weird. Oh, buddy. Yeah, three. <laughs> I believe this is a circular three dimensional way. I'm gonna. Oh. Oof. Do not want. Okay, there's, there's a light. <laughs> Does that help me with anything? I don't remember there being torches in this thing. Maybe there were. Hey, corn. You know, if he was a New Yorker, he would say acorn. Oh, he will find you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I cherish you in so many ways, Ash. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Gosh, okay, I'm very concerned about the fact that I heard Foxy. Okay, there he is. Can I fight him? I have a sword. Can I fight Foxy? Some tells me the answer is a decided no. But hey, that's just a theory. I'd appreciate the... <laughs> I appreciate the audacity, but also, but it, it would truly start us over from the beginning of Princess Quest Three, right? It's most assuredly. Oh, I great. know, right? This is not this. The stakes are high. Ash. Too high. Flamingons are in the air. <laughs> we're one. We're one ribeye. Invest. Oh shoot, I heard something scary. Gosh, where the heck am I in this three-dimensional space that also has these like weird gaps in the map? I'm so confused. Oh, 
I remember the maze when we were pl first playing Princess Quest, and it's a, it was like a circular maze, and the mask, the Vanny mask is in the middle. Oh, oh, oh there, he'd be peeking. I don't know what Foxy's range is. He's on the move. He, he goes on quickly. The move. Yeah. Hear him. So I'm assuming he's gonna what? Cross through? Cross where that torch is? Or are you on the move? Fox? Oh, there he is. He, he very quickly turned away. <laughs> which leads me to believe that he saw me and is after me? Question mark? Oh. Nope. Oh, just decided to walk in. There. He will find you. Okay. Oh man, I love three-dimensional mazes that are dark. So good. So good, Ash. I mean, it's effective, if anything else. Oh, come on. They man. got the feeling of dread down. Oh my gosh, right. Okay. Shoot. Oh. The dread weight. Yeah. Another torch. That's exciting, yes. Lo I lo oh, hello. Hello, Mysterious Glow. Oh, God, I need to find the four torches, don't I? One in each corner of the map. Oh, no. Oh, okay. okay, three torches. Great. Yay! Oh. Love when there's less. Something is not right. Okay. If I hide here, he will not see me, maybe. Can we recreate the part of the game where he was glitched out and like <laughs> couldn't find anything? Because that would be awesome. Come on, man. Come on, man. I don't know if you're, are you behind me or are you? Oh, wow. He's gotta be like right behind me, like through the wall, right? Okay. Okay, here we go, around here. Oh, jeez. Oh, I hate this so much. Give up. It's a not encouraging message. Right? Get it. Can you believe that someone took time out of their life? Okay. Okay. Oh. I think I think we're out. Okay. Great. I think we're out. I think we're out. Oh, come on. Okay, now I just got to find my way back to the pizzeria, which seems like it should be easy, but has proven itself to be decidedly difficult in many ways. Yay! Okay, here we go. All right. We've got the two pieces. Anything gonna attack me? Anything spooky scary? At this point, I should just be able to open up the chest. Please. The tension is very high, because the stakes are incredible. Strange key! Come on, buddy! Let's go sell our soul to Glitch Trap! And then redeem ourselves with our sword of justice and our vengeful rage. Oh my gosh, oh, there's, there's more. There's so many. Oh my gosh, okay. Hello. Okay, come on. Wouldn't that be awesome if they actually made it so that Glitch Trap was a boss battle you had to fight? Oh, get out of here. Whoa, no! Get out. Oh, jeez. No! No, I come up! No! That's, that's rough. 
stuff. Oh my god, no. <laughs> this was supposed to be a quick play, Ash. Just a quick in and out. Yeah, just... Quick, quick one done. Silly little episode, nothing crazy. I... <laughs> we'll be back after these messages, ladies and gentlemen. I need the keys to unlock the key. There we go. Oh, hey, Foxy. Boop. I wish you could, like, honk his nose. Right? There needs to be more nose boopage in this game, I will say. Needs 100% more nose boopage. Maximum boopage. Maximum boops! Okay. Hello, my nemesis. Hello. Hello, my nemesis. The elevation that's killing you. I know. Well, the thing is, as soon as I cross down, you get stuck in there. Like, that's what caught me last time is, with these guys, if they hit you, you have to back up to kind of reset your hitbox. Right. And I was backed up against all the walls because, you oh. know, you're wow. just here. Okay. Ew. Okay, that's two. That was a that was a tough one. That was a tough combo. Got it though. We've got. Come on. Boom. Come on, Boom. old friend. Come on, old friend. The belching is quite pronounced in these hallways. Right. Oh, it it, it certainly echoes. No one has taught these digital demon bunnies good manners. Ow. Oof. Oof. That was rough. That was not great. But I. I I'm so concerned about these pitfalls. The last thing I want is a pit. Or a fall. Okay, here we go. Hello. Anybody home? Any glitchy bunnies? Any weird mimics of technology? I see a lot of green spikes. I see green and purple. The green locking him in and the purple meaning after i'm saying the green and purple now that i'm looking for it i see it everywhere there's a lot of green and purple signed jn for just navi J just navi just navi hey, oh, oh, oh. oh unable to save online Congratulations! You defeated the game! The, the game. We literally defeated the game. It's me, the developer, talking here. You seem to have defeated the game with only trial and error. It's fair if you aren't hungry for more content, what? But if you were to put a lot of time into this game, as I did making it... What? For example, as defeating the game again without dying you might get a different story. <laughs> I wonder what change would happen if you did that. What do you think? It's up to you, of course. See you for now. No! No. 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 -uh. No. Uh. Here. I'll show you what I think. Let me show you what I think. First off, I'm curious about the extras menu. <laughs> Whoa! Ooh. Oh, cool. Look at the extras menu. This is awesome, actually. This is really cool. The princess is you, the player, who needs to find her way out. The evil place is great. This is cool. Oh, this is awesome. The glitch walker. The glitch walker is the second encountered enemy. 
These are awesome. This is this is a really cool. This is a really cool extras menu. Glitch trap. There's glitch trap. The tombstones. The collectibles. This is awesome. This is really really cool. I love it. Teaser doors. Various other things. Neat. How do I get out of it? Can I get out, do? Grim Foxy, wonderful. But seriously. Hmm, menu. There we go. Menu. Here. This is what I say. This is what I say. Ooh, the Return to Bloody Nights Part Four. Exciting. Wow. I choose you. Princess Quest 3D. <laughs> secret I choose you! Secret ending? Oh man, is there oh. a secret ending? Oh man, this is from Strike. A month ago. We've got zero death. Strike, you are a champion and a hero and a scholar and I admire you so much. Thank you for your time and effort. Here we go. Yep, that hallway's terrible. Trust me, I just did it a couple what times. Happened. Here we go. What Anything new? What's new? Or is it all a troll? Should be something new. I agree. Strike. Error. You were in a video game the whole time. Please tell me this is it. Whoa! Now there's more game! Okay. Now you're just playing Security Breach. For Greg! Sweet. Oh man, you get to play as... Gregory! But can I vent? That's the question. Can you vent? Can I try venting, Gregory? Okay, so I walk out, of, so you walk out of the room, so it doesn't seem like there's anything to do in there. You walk out of the room, and then what? Oh! Oh, that's it's cute. The, it's a cutscene at the good ending. That's adorable. Oh, you get the final cutscene. Oh my god. That's cool. That's cool. That's a thick cone of ice cream. I want that. Oh man, I could go for a thick wow. cone right now. <laughs> so that is the ending. <laughs> that's where we all are. Right, we're all we're all in a mo mo thick cone mode. We're all in thick cone mode. I love oh. I love how janky the the golden Freddy ice cream is. It literally has just like the drawn on <laughs> smile, <laughs> like MS Paint. There it is. It's perfect. That's amazing. That is like like a Pooh Bear popsicle I would get at the ice cream truck. It is. It's like <laughs> it's like the ice cream truck Pooh Bear. Yes. He's like half melted on one side of his face. <laughs> oh. Oh man, I love it. Oh, we did it, friends. We made it through. It was tough. It was not pleasant. I was not my finest gamer. I, I was not pulling off my finest gamer move moments. I didn't have that good Grim Foxy move. Not that, yeah, that was pretty pro strat. That, that was clutch. I will say that was yeah. clutch. And uh, thank you again to Strike for uh, for uh, 479 subscribers. Thank you to Strike for being brave enough and determined enough to beat this game with zero deaths because it is it is tough each one presented its own difficulties but especially the first one brutal so what started as a simple 2d game that we're like let's play this let's immerse ourselves in security breach lore and let's have a good time with a shorter upload ended up being an incredibly long upload that took much longer than expected and wound up with us bashing our head against the lore yet again so Truly a FNAF upload if I've ever seen one. <laughs> so without any further ado, I won't keep you any longer. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Thank you for putting up with all my deaths and my leak gamer skills. And as always, remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. See ya!